Hello everyone, a bit of a break from the usual Ukraine videos, I thought I'd take a look at the B-21 Raider unveiling since a couple of people mentioned it in the comments of some of my past videos. Needless to say, it looks awesome. A very sci-fi look to it and incorporating the flying wing design that we saw in its predecessor, the B-2. I would have said futuristic flying wing design, but it actually isn't all that futuristic. I'm sure most people are going to think, aha, the Horton HO229, but the design actually originates further back than that, with the Westland Hill Pterodactyls, a series of flying wings in the 1920s and 1930s, which never entered operational production, they were just experimental. But the flying wing design never became truly successful until the B-2. Visually, the B-21 looks like a scaled down version of the B-2 with a few differences, notably at the rear. It's smaller and carries a lighter payload of £30,000 compared to the B-2's 60000 The main improvement is the advanced stealth technology, which the US is keeping rather tight-lipped about. Lloyd Austin said it has significant range and doesn't need to be based in theatre, and that the most advanced air defences in the world today will struggle to detect the B-21. The main role of it is said to be to provide strike capabilities which penetrate through enemy air defences at range. So look to this to be deploying long-range missiles. Another improvement, and this is quite interesting, the B-21's current design doesn't preclude the integration of pilot optional capabilities. Put simply, when these enter service, they could be autonomous, which is pretty cool. The first flight is set to take place in 2023, with operational capacity in 2026 or 2027. The first Raiders will be based at Ellsworth Air Force Base, followed by Whiteman and Dias. The total fleet size is as yet unconfirmed, with numbers of between 100 to 145 mentioned. It's pretty cool, and I thought it worth taking a look at as a bit of a break from Ukraine. But of course I have more Ukraine videos to come, which I hope you will enjoy too. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everyone.